it doesn't seem like it's written a hundred years ago. It's, <laughs> it's like, your love is my drug is uh, like a Kesha song from 10 years ago too. So it's <laughs> the kind of, the same uh, sentiment carries with us for generations. She's fabulous. I, I love to watch old movies just for those, the divas, and she's definitely one of them. Um, she's flanked with her four men and she's playing with them and it's, it's really hilarious. And she's just owning it. She's owning the stage. She's, and it is kind of, it's a performance moment. So we're not meant to think it's her feelings, but it is also, there's some, Part of her that's coming out too. I started singing um, in a girls chorus down the peninsula and I also did a lot of musical theater um, but I never really thought that I would get into like classical singing. I was I was um, kind of more into acting and for a while I was into dance, but that was not really, da like piano lessons and acting. Um, and then I transferred high schools um, in my sophomore year to go to the San Francisco School of the Arts. And I discovered art song and opera, just something that I really was not aware of before. Or at least I wasn't aware that I could do. I, I didn't know that that world could open to me in the way that it did. And I just really haven't found anything that I love more than, because it's bringing everything, it's bringing the most intense music and all of the acting that I ever wanted to do. Um, and being on stage and everything all together into the <laughs> perfect medium. Um, and yeah, then I got into undergrad and I really was, even in, even in undergrad, I was like, maybe I'll just still do musical theater, who knows? And then since kind of discovering that I was a mezzo and being six feet tall, it's, it's like, this works for me. I can be this niche and all this music is, so it speaks to me so much that it really feels like a perfect alignment of the stars. 